Hello, Mr. Bradshaw here. This is a video tutorial on how to download and install and set up the Arduino IDE, um, the developer environment, and then to program, how to program, how to use the programming language at least to program the Hello World um, program. So the first thing you wanna do is get the Arduino software. The way to get that is go to arduino.cc. That'll bring you up to the website where you can download the IDE. Now I'm using Windows, so you can download the Windows installer. You can also do it virtually on all the, the common operating systems here. Um, but we're going to go with Windows. I've already got it downloaded and installed, so I'm not actually going to do that again. Um, it will ask you if you want to donate. It's a worthwhile cause to donate. You can contribute and download or just download. Now I'm just going to stop this here because I don't need it again. Once you've got it installed, you will, or sorry, downloaded, it's a typical install that you should be able to um, walk yourself through that. There, there are no surprises. Once it is installed, you should be able to launch it. And it'll look something like this. The IDE um, is a fairly simplified um, programmer's environment. First thing you'll need to do though, is to um, plug in your Arduino. So you're not gonna be able to see me doing this on, on uh, screen. But I have just plugged in the USB cable from my Arduino to my computer. We are using an Arduino Uno here. So first thing to do is also click on Tools, Board, and make sure that you are using Uno. Next thing to do is click on Tools, Port, and make sure that you've got the proper port selected. You'll know the proper one is selected because it'll say Arduino Uno beside it. So this one happens to be on COM3, so I'm good to go. Now by default, it is set up um, the, uh, the, the environment here. Not a whole lot to it. This button up here is to verify or compile to make sure you don't have any syntax errors in your code. This little button here is to upload the code that you have here. Right now I don't have much code at all, but to upload it to your board, and you can run it from there. And this little button here is how to create a new program or a new sketch in, in Arduino, the Arduino world, they call it a sketch, but it's essentially a program. This one is to open a pre-existing one. Um, you know, I have a whole bunch of uh, programs that I've created in Arduino. This is to save it. But for our purposes, we're going to test and make sure that the communication is functioning between your Arduino IDE, the programming um, environment here, and the board itself. So a really nice, simple program to do is Hello World. Hello World is really, really common. It's, it's used in, as a demo in pretty much any programming language. So the first thing you'll notice here is void setup and void loop. Now, setup and loop are two different functions. Depending on the programming language you may have learned, they might be called functions or methods, sometimes even procedures, but in Arduino and, and mostly C, they are called functions. And without getting overly technical, since this is probably your first time in here, a function is a block of code that you can call at any point in your code, and we'll get into a lot more detail about a function later on. But for our purposes, there is a default requirement in Arduino that requires two functions. These must always be here, setup and loop. The void simply means that it's not returning any values um, to the main program, and the empty brackets are required as well, but it means it's not taking any variables um, to send to the function. Again, we'll get into that kind of detail later, but for now, just know that you must have void setup, open bracket, close bracket, and void loop, open bracket, close bracket. Next thing you'll notice is an open squiggly brace and a closing squiggly brace. And they are in each function. This is a standard thing in C-based programming languages. All the code must, all the code within setup must be between these two braces. All the code within loop must be between these two braces. Okay? Then the other thing you're going to see is this text. Put your setup code here to run once, and it's behind a double backslash. And then down here, you've also got another double backslash. Put your main code here to run repeatedly. The double backslash means that it is a comment. Comment means that the compiler skips over it. It doesn't actually, it's not part of the program itself, 
a comment, and we'll, I'll, I'll read you the Riot Act about this later on as well, um, repeatedly, comments are necessity in any kind of a programming. Um, I always use the, the hit by a bus analogy. Um, let's say that I am the head programmer on this multi-month long project, and one day I get hit by a bus on the way into work. The company, I'm sure, is going to send flowers to my funeral or whatever happens there. But ultimately, some, that the show must go on and somebody else, another programmer, is going to pick up this project. If I don't have good comments in there, they're going to be cursing me um, because it's going to take way more time for them to figure out a program without comments. So comments are a way for other people to read your code are a way for you to read your code more simply months down the road because you might want to revisit code. Um, and frankly, they're easy for me to assess. So for many, many reasons, comments are required. And so this is an example of how to input a comment and I'll put in some comments here as well for when we actually begin our program. So the setup function, everything that happens in the setup function runs once, only one time as soon as you give power to the Arduino or as soon as you upload the code to the Arduino. In loop, whatever happens in loop here, whatever code is in loop, that runs forever as long as there's power going to the Arduino because it's a loop. So loop will run until a particular condition is met. And in this case, there's no condition to be met. So the loop function within Arduino will run forever, or at least until I pull the power. Okay, so we're ready to go to test this out. So what we're gonna do is within setup, because I only, I'm gonna begin with showing you how the serial monitor can work. Um, the serial monitor gets launched, by the way, when this little um, icon over here, the serial monitor is used to display things to the screen, which is great for debugging um, or great for our purposes here. So I'm gonna get rid of this comment here because I don't really need it. And I'm going to set up the serial monitor. So with programming, syntax is crucial. You'll notice that serial, as soon as I typed it in, properly um, spelled and with a capital S, it changed color because that's a reserved word or a keyword within the Arduino programming language. We'll get into keywords later, but essentially it means that they are reserved. So serial.begin, and then I'm going to put in 9600 as the baud rate, oops, 9600, sorry, as the baud rate. The baud rate is simply um, the bits per second. And there are a number of different baud rates that you can put in. This is the standard one, 9600 is standard because frankly, nobody can read any quicker than that. All this is doing is it's sending something to the serial monitor, which is characters, which is, which is text. Um, if I put in a higher speed, it serves no purpose because I can't actually read it any quicker anyway. So serial begin, 9600, and then this semicolon is key. So semicolon after any command. And then just to keep us on track to give a demo of comments, I'm gonna put in a comment here, set up the monitor at 9600. Jeepers, I'm having a hard time spelling or typing 9600 BPS. Okay, and then I'm going to print it out. I'm going to print out um, a series of characters or a little sentence to that dot print ln and then open bracket, open um, quotation marks, hello world. Okay. Again, I'll put in a comment here. So we're going to um, print the text to the followed by a line break. So the line break is indicated by this LN. So I could have just serial.print hello world. And what that's going to do is it's going to print hello world. Well, in this case, that, that would actually be absolutely fine because this is only going to run once. Um, but there will not be a, an enter or a, a, like a return or a line break afterwards. The LN puts in a line break. And I'll demo that actually when we get into the loop function. Okay, so we've got a little function, a little uh, program set up here. Let's make sure there are no syntax errors. It's going to prompt me to change it so or save it. So I'll save it just with the default, which is sketch July 22. Um, it's taken a while to save for whatever reason. Then I can upload it to my board. And it's uploaded, I launch the serial monitor, and ta-da, hello world. And you'll notice that hello world prints out once and one time only. Okay, let's see what happens if we 
do this. So I'm going to take out this line, and now I'm going to put it into the loop function. Okay. So now what I've got is exactly the same code, or exactly the same two lines of code, but in different spots. So the serial begin, I'm still setting up the serial monitor once, because I only need to open up that communication with the serial monitor one time. So that's in setup. But remember, loop goes on and on and on and on and on until I stop it, until I pull the plug. So serial.println, hello world, is now in loop. What do you think is going to happen? Let's upload and see. Okay. Oh my, look at that. Hello world is scrolling forever until I pull the plug. That's because, as you can see here, hello world is now in loop. Now, to give you a demo of the difference between serial.println and serial.print, let's see what happens here. Now look. So, hello world is printing, but there's no carriage return or line break in between. So it makes it way more difficult to read. So instead, what if um, what I would do for in a scenario like this where I actually want to be able to read a little bit easier is put in that ln, which is this, the print ln, which is um, is the exact the, the print command followed by a line break. And there you go, it's back on separate lines. So that, my friends, is a really, really basic tutorial of how to set up the Arduino, to download the software from arduino.cc, install it, set up your board, um, and then a really, really quick um, introduction to the IDE and setting up um, or coding our first program, which is the Hello World program.